hello everyone today we will see process management so in this process management uh, we will see what are the process are running in current time and uh, how to see the particular process and how to kill that particular process how to uh, uh, see uh, cpu usage and memory usage of that particular process okay so to do that let's get into linux operating system so i'm in my linux operating system this is red hat linux okay so p to see the process we use the command ps ps means process generally we can remember so ps it will show the list of process running so these two process are running that's it um, that one is bash terminal this is the one another one is ps command just now i tried it okay so if you see this is running in the terminal type 1 that is this terminal and every process has particular pid this is a pid okay and generally where are these processes if you see ls slash proc so th this is the location where all processes will reside okay if you see slash proc has pid 10994 see 10994 okay this is one process that is actually the process for bash terminal so let's get into that 10994 sorry it is in slash proc slash proc slash 10994 ls so these are the process related files so these all are under ram uh, that is the stack so it is understandable by the system itself not for the users okay just i am showing where the process will be okay so so when we close this process that won't be there the directory will be delete, deleted automatically okay so this is the location all process will be there so if you if we see just now we have seen only um, this one when you type a, a ps only two process are there but how about this many process are there this each directory which has a number is a process okay so let's see all the processes so ps means it will show only current process i mean uh, under this terminal only so ps hyphen a u will show all users all process okay so hyphen a means all all process u means users it will show it will add a user also more command ps a u x that's it in this actually hyphen we don't use generally because that is deprecated in the later versions. So better use hyphen AU hyphen AUX. Okay. See so hyphen AU will give the same information. And hyphen AUX means X is an option for uh, showing all processes including background process. Okay. So this is all user process. This is all users including background process. Okay. So these are the processor running okay see let's come let's take one top 10 um, lines so that we'll analyze so we can use head command if you see uh, see this is one process init 5 that is actually GUI uh, okay so this has started at this time and this is the memory usage of that particular uh, process and this is the cpu usage of particular process this is a process id of that particular process and this is run by the user root okay so this is how we check the process okay so let's see the other process also see these are the system related process so it is running we can see in the down see if, if you see here this is cups d is a service okay so this is for common usage printer okay so this is a time when it is started and see process id of this one is 3211 and it is run, it is run by the user root and cpu usage is 0 0.0 memory usage is yeah 0 0.2 okay so this is how we check it let's try uh, let's start one process better okay 
so for that I'm opening accessories in that I'm selecting calculator okay see when we open the process means it should show here so better to use all the time PS AUX okay so in this if you see down you can see the last before command is this one G calc tools so that is mean that means this one okay and we can see by looking at this calc we can say that graphical calc tool yeah so G calc tool so we should know what are the process we are running it we should know the name at least okay even see if we know the command then we can also open that with the command line okay so let me open it again so G calc tool okay see I typed it enter so it will open one more calculator so means that uh, that is the actual process for that okay I'm closing it all clearing the screen let me open it again the external process one okay calculator I have opened one process now process will be running so we can check with PSIVX okay it is in the down okay we can we can filter it so let's go to last 10 lines so this is the command gcalc tool is a process it is running it started at this time okay by system time is uh, different anyways so this is the CPU usage and 2.0 and this is the memory usage 1.0 and this is the process ID of that uh, so and this is run by the user root okay so this is how we check it particular process process ID so the, now I would like to kill the process killing means generally we can close this process then it will be killed but with a command line if you want to kill the process we can kill it with a kill command even this is more effective than killing, killing it graphically like this because when we close it sometimes it, it may struck or something uh, happens but with a kill command we can kill it easily okay so kill then process ID process ID of this one is 110 GKLC tool is 11076 11076 kill see it's killed this is how we kill the process particular process okay so let me show it again I'm opening the calculator so now let's check the process ID so process ID is every time it will be different so it is not fixed at all if we see this time process ID is calc tool process ID is 11083 earlier it is 11076 ok so 11083 so I am killing it so we can kill the process with the kill space PID this is a syntax but uh, now to kill the process forcefully we can use kill space hyphen 9 space PID okay so this will kill the process forcefully okay but here it's not struck at all but uh, generally when the process strokes and all then we can see so hyphen 9 we can use to kill the process forcefully okay okay now let's start one process so just another example so I would like to add start a Firefox web browser so it started see okay Firefox browser is open so this is also one process so let's check the price Firefox PS AUX grep Okay, let's go to back last file will be that one only yes if you see yeah generally uh, the recent process will be lost so this is the one Firefox this is what it is running one more is there Firefox okay what we can do is we can use filters so PS AUX then we can send it send this output to grep command to filter this so I'm filtering with a keyword Firefox it will show only those Firefox process if you see yes yeah 
this is the these two are the processes are running so we should identify which is the right process so sometimes we name we may not find because here two process ids are there this is one process id this is also belonging to firefox only another process id is this one okay another process is this one and its pid is this one so which one we have to kill sometimes we don't know so we have to kill everything so we have to specify kill 110 it's i killed it but here firefox didn't kill okay so it's still open okay so now i kill the other process id so kill 11105 so this is the process id and if you see that the last one is just now i entered the command grab firefox be these comments uh, be added so th that is not the process of firefox so 11105 this is a pid so killing it now it's killed if you see in the down it is not there okay so this is how we kill the processes if the process size multiple pids we have to kill all okay we can kill uh, we can specify the uh, multiple process ids li like this also like this pid space pid space pid like this so just kill command syntax is pid this is one or else optional one is again pid space pid like this go on to kill the process forcefully hyphen 9 we use hyphen 9 space pid okay done this is how to kill the process so let's open the firefox again okay internet it is in the firefox okay so this we can not only open uh, i mean graphically open files we can kill it's not like that uh, we can op we can kill any process already existing process system process whatever the we want it we can kill it services generally anything okay see uh, this is a firefox it's open okay so this is a firefox now i would like to kill this process in a different way this time so so kill this time i'm not using kill i'm using p kill p kill means process kill okay so it will kill the process directly if we know the process by using the process name not by the process id okay so p kill then process name just firefox enter see it's killed so with the process name also we can kill the process okay fine so this is how we can kill the process with the p kill command now we'll see a uh, kill all command kill all suppose or to kill the process of particular user we use the command kill all for that first let me create some user user add uh, okay x user 1 is a username and i'm going to log in as that username user switch user so now i'm the user x user 1 so i am starting one process suppose oh, let's start let me start some process okay i can start some services or something but here we didn't install anything or something so we can just execute one command so i am executing the command grep hyphen r uh, password grep hyphen r slash password yes so grep hyphen r means recursively it will search for the password uh, uh, keyword in this slash slash means entire system okay so let just it's searching it so let me open one more terminal control alt t so it's open on one of that another terminal if we see sh control shift plus plus i'm just zooming see here the process is running by the user uh, x user 
now let's filter those pro process so ps aux grep x user 1 if you see these are the process running by that user x user 1 x user 1 these two are the process okay so in this if you see grep hyphen r password this is the command so it is running still so this pid of this one is triple one zero eight seven so we can kill it with a kill triple one zero eight seven but i would like to kill complete process of this user okay so we can kill like this with a username specifying kill all hyphen u then username username is x user one done killed if we see here terminated okay see it's all processor killed okay this is how we kill the process of particular user so to kill the processes so let's check it whether it is killed or not it's killed everything i mean this terminal means the he, he is logged in see this is logged in by uh, uh, root user okay to this one so it means it's his all process will be killed only this batch process is there that is this one he is logged in okay in some uh, distributions even he will be logged out also okay yes so this is how killing the process kill all hyphen u then username it will kill all the process of particular user okay now i can kill my process kill all hyphen u i'm sorry before that let me reset my password password so capital a yeah i forgot the password now i reset my password now i would like to kill my user itself that is root user i am i am the root user i would like to kill my process itself so let's see this kill all hyphen u root and see i am killing myself let's see what will happen something is happening yes i got the login screen okay so means that it killed all my process so so let me log in it again so this is how we can kill our process particular user process here even i have killed my process itself so i am logged out because most of the process are uh, run by the root user only so he has logged out because all process killed okay so this is kill and process ps command and p kill killing the process with the process name okay thank you